Hello and welcome to my TJ Clune fan account. <laughs> my name is Paige and I thought I would do a quick review of The Extraordinaries by TJ Clune because I was anticipating this so much when I heard that it was going to come out and now that it's out I want to gush about it. So I thought I would just quickly say what it's about, what I liked about it, and a few things to look out for that I have read in a couple of reviews. But I love this so much so I'm just going to gush for the next five minutes maybe. <laughs> so this is set in a world where superheroes are real and they are called extraordinaries and in this world they can be born an extraordinary or they can acquire this skill by some freak accident or maybe even radioactive spiders. So very superhero based and in this we follow Nick and he is obsessed with extraordinaries especially one named Shadowstar. He even goes as far as to write fan fiction about him and puts himself in the fan fiction because he wants Shadowstar and him to end up together. So in this book, Nick really wants to become an extraordinary so that he and Shadowstar can fall in love. And then from there, crazy things start to happen. So I love this book for so many reasons. Right off the bat, you are thrown right into Nick's fan fiction and it is hilarious. If you have ever read fan fiction or written it yourself, it is so true just the way that he wrote it. A little bit cringy, but like has a lot of feels in it. It was so funny. I was laughing out loud from the start. Nick as a character is beautiful. I love him so much. His relationship with his friends and his family is so amazing. He has such good friends who support him when he is going on this path of trying to be an extraordinary no matter what it takes and he is doing some wild things and coming up with some crazy ideas and it is just so funny the entire time. Nick is such a great character. Nick also has ADHD so it's a pretty common thing that he does not pay attention to all the details around him. So you as a reader are having clues thrown into your lap the entire time. Everything is laid out right for you, but Nick is so oblivious to it and it is hilarious to watch how he just overthinks things or sees right past something that is glaringly obvious. So I really like that aspect of it, that you as a reader know what's going on, but you understand why Nick does not. And in my notes, I just wrote Seth. If you meet Seth, he he's everything. I love him so much. I am a sucker for childhood friends. Let's just say that. I love that. I love that storyline. And Seth is so precious. Him and Nick are so precious. I love them so much. The one thing I really disliked about this book is that it's going to be a part of the series and there's a massive cliffhanger at the very end. The book ends there's the acknowledgements and then right after there's a sneaky little chapter and leaves you hanging. So I need the next book immediately. <laughs> after reading this, I did go and look at a couple of reviews and I saw one right away that was a one star review. I felt like it was something that should be addressed if this is something that concerns you. So in this book, Nick's dad is a cop and this book does talk a lot about cops and how they are trying to do good in this world. And the person in the review said that they felt it was glorifying cops and saying that all cops are always good and that cops are only in it for the right reasons. So if that's something that bothers you and you would not like to read that, this might not be the book for you because it does heavily have cops involved in trying to save the city that they are living in. There's also a couple references to a time where Nick's dad, who is a cop, punched a person in custody and that his dad got demoted from this and Nick kind of reflects on, but that doesn't make my dad a bad person, does it? He has done something bad, but that doesn't mean that he's bad. So this book really does walk on the line of what is good, what is evil, who is a good person, who is an evil person. And that's a pretty big theme throughout this. So if that's something that you would not be interested in and in seeing cops in a positive light or seeing people who have done bad things in a positive light as well, then this might not be the book for you, but I was able to let myself just be in this world and, and accept the ways that this world worked. This city worked a lot differently. I mean, there's superheroes in this world. So I was able to remove myself from that aspect, but I could see that as something that would bother somebody who doesn't want to read about cops and good and evil in that way. Hi, so it's a little bit later in the day and I had already filmed the video but I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw that TJ Klune actually came out with a statement today about what he had been reading in reviews on how he portrayed cops in his story. So he did put out a statement and I want to link that below because I thought that 
the way that he explained himself really made sense and what he says that he wants to do with the books in the future um, I think is a good read. So if you are interested in the story but don't really want to read about cops being portrayed positively, I would just read his statement and decide from there if you would still like to give them a chance or not. So. I'm glad that I saw that today before I started editing, but I just wanted to let you know that he did make a statement, he's not just ignoring it, and he is acknowledging that it was not the best choice to put a book out like this, but going forward, the way that him and his editor are going to work on the book will reflect what is going on in our world right now. So back to the video. But overall, I love this so much. I am going to probably recommend it to everybody. My best friend is currently reading it right now. We started at the same time, and I think he's liking it. So this is just really, really funny. I love Nick. I love Seth. I love their friends. It was so good. Highly recommend. All right, let me know if this is a book that you would be interested in reading or if you already have what your thoughts are on it. And like this video and subscribe if you want to see any more from me. All right, I guess that's it. <laughs> Bye.